We apologise for the laws and policies of successive parliaments and governments that have inflicted profound grief, suffering and loss on these our fellow Australians. The Government of Canada now recognises that it was wrong to forcibly remove children from their homes and we apologise for having done this. Look, um, there is still a very, very long way to go in our country, but nevertheless, it was a beginning and it was a start to something that uh, would hopefully um, cement our relationships together in the true spirit of reconciliation. But for a president to come out and formally apologise to Native peoples, that's a really big step because that's, you know, in the whole reckon conciliation process that's the first step is admitting your faults and from there you know that's a promise that you will be willing to work with people and 现代国家领导人对原住民族和过往历史不正义的正式道歉有其重要意义。然而道歉之后，改变是否就会到来？本周《立马新闻世界》全球部落之单元，从澳洲、加拿大和夏威夷的经验，一起来思考国家领导人向原住民族道歉的真正价值与意义。